Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem on your code blocks when you try to open the project in the code blocks. For example, when I click on file and then click on open and then when I open a project in the code blocks and then click on open, my code blocks application quits unexpectedly and I can see this message which says code blocks quit unexpectedly click report to see the details. So let's see how we can sh solve this problem. So for now I'm going to click on ignore. Once again, I'm going to open the code blocks here. And once code blocks opens, before opening my project, what I need to do is I need to click on plugins here and then click on manage plugins. And there is a plugin called code completion plugin, which causes this error. So I'm going to select code completion plugin and then click on disable in front of it. So I have disabled this code completion plugin. And once this code completion plugins is disabled, I'm going to try to open the project once again. So let me just click on file, click on open, and then click on my project and then click on open once again. And this time you will observe that the code blocks doesn't quit unexpectedly and my project is opened. So let me just uh, click on the main.cpp file here. And this is the code which is generated automatically by the code blocks for us. So to compile this code, I just need to click on this build button. So let me click on build button, which is going to compile my project. And there is no error in it, zero error, zero warning. To run it, I'm going to click on this uh, green run button. So when I click on the run button, it says code blocks wants access to control terminal. Yes, because we are creating the terminal application, code blocks will run this uh, C++ program in the terminal. So I'm going to click on OK here and it runs the application in the terminal and it will uh, show this kind of uh, problem here. So when you see uh, this kind of problem on your ZSH, which says no such file or directory on code blocks, what you need to do is, um, let me just close this terminal, go to your code blocks, and then here, click on settings, and then click on environment. And under terminal to launch the console program, instead of this line, so instead of uh, this script, terminal to launch the console program, I need to change this script a little. So I need to change it to uh, this uh, script. So first part is okay. OSA script hyphen E tell app terminal hyphen E activate hyphen E do script until do script everything is okay. But now it says quoted form of so I need to remove the quoted form of from here. So let me uh, just remove this from here quoted from off and now this uh, script looks fine right so just uh, remove that section which says quoted from off and it's going to work so osa hyphen e uh, tell app terminal hyphen e activate hyphen e do script space script and then hyphen e and tell i'm going to click on ok here and once i do that and then when I click on the run button once again, it's going to work. You can see it prints hello world now and everything is working. This is how you can download and install code blocks on your Mac operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.